In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open an EML file in Gmail. A .EML file is basically an entire email that's been bundled up into a file. So when you open it, you'll see the subject and the address that it was to and from and the message body and any files that, that were attached to the email. You would normally open an EML file in a desktop mail app like Outlook or Thunderbird or something. But if you don't have any of those apps because you just use Gmail, you can actually open an EML file in Gmail quite easily. If someone has sent you an EML file attached to an email in Gmail, it's actually very easy to open. You just come in here to Gmail and find the email with the EML file attached to it. Here it is here and then click on it to open the email, just like you normally would. And now, with the attachment down here, don't click on download or add to Google Drive or anything. Just click on the email file. So just click somewhere like that. And now, it will open up this separate pop-up window with the email file. So, this is the email that was inside the email file. So. As you can see, we've got the email subject here. And if you click on this drop down arrow here, you can see who sent it and who it was to and the date it was sent and stuff like that. And then down here, you have the message body. So all the text or any content that was in the message body. And if there are any files attached to the email that's now in the email file, those files will be down here just like they normally would when they're attached to any other email. So, if you wanted to view any of these files, you would just click on the file like you normally would if someone sends you a file attached to an email, or you could hover over it and click the download icon or add to Google Drive or add to Google Photos or something if you want to save any of these files. And you will get this warning message here saying that Gmail can't verify the authenticity of the email because it's an EML file, because it is actually possible to create a fake EML file that was never actually sent as a real email. So Google can't guarantee that this sender address actually ever sent this email, but that's not really a big deal. And that's really all there is to it. This is the EML file. So you can look at it and do whatever you want to do with it. And once you're done with it, you can just click on the cross at the top right corner of the window to close that. And now you'll just be back to normal Gmail. But if the EML file was saved to your computer somewhere, not in Gmail, you can actually still open it in Gmail by emailing it to yourself. So you would just need to click compose and put your own email address in the to field here. And we'll choose that one. And you have to type a subject, but it doesn't really matter what it is. So just type whatever you want. And now just come down and click on the pay-per-click icon to attach the file. And a files app window will open up and you'll just need to find your EML file wherever it is and then double click on it to select it and attach it to the email. You probably already know how to attach files to an email in Gmail. But once you've done all that, just go ahead and click send. And now pretty much instantly, if we go back out to the inbox, you will receive an email from yourself containing the EML file that was on your computer. So now you can just open up that email and click on the EML file. And now the EML file that was on your computer is opened up in Gmail like this. And that's really all there is to it. Whether the file was on your computer or it was already in an email in Gmail, that's how you can open an EML file in Gmail. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful, but if you want to see how to download an email from Gmail as an EML file, 
So basically turning a normal email you have into an EML file. Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.